Hi, my name is Dr. Michael Blaha. I'm professor of medicine in the Division of Cardiology. I also serve as the director of clinical research for the Johns Hopkins Ciccaroni Center for the Prevention of Heart Disease. My clinical interests are in preventing heart disease in patients at risk for heart attacks and strokes, whether they have a family history or other risk factors for the condition. Really, my philosophy is to try to align patient care and how aggressive we are with the care with how high risk the patient is, treating some patients less aggressively if they're free of any detectable disease, and some patients, particularly if we can detect early atherosclerosis in their arteries very aggressively, sometimes as aggressively as we treat patients who've had a heart attack before. So my research and clinical interest is in detecting atherosclerosis early using imaging tests, for example, cardiac CT scans, where we can find patients that have a plaque in their arteries at a very early stage and potentially treat those patients very aggressively to prevent heart attacks and strokes later in life. So in my practice, I treat patients with risk factors for heart disease and stroke. For example, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, I have a particular interest in diabetes and the metabolic syndrome. I really like talking to patients about diet and exercise, as well as advanced new drug therapies, trying to give those drugs uh, that might be you know, used for lowering risk factors to the right patients. So I spend a lot of time thinking about emerging therapies, and we like to deliver those new emerging therapies to our patients at the highest risk. Also, I have research interests in other areas in prevention, including electronic cigarettes, physical activity and physical fitness levels, as well as things like preventing diabetes or managing diabetes in new and innovative ways to try to lower heart attack, stroke, and also heart failure. So as a preventative cardiologist, I'm very interested in treating patients early in the disease course, long before patients develop heart attacks and strokes. We think this is a much more cost-effective and rational way of conducting medicine. It's really trying to intervene early to prevent outcomes like heart attacks and strokes that might influence patients' lives or be very expensive for the health system. And really, it just doesn't make sense to wait for an event like that to happen before we start treating. So if you come into my clinic, I start to start patients talking about lifestyle and exercise and controlling risk factors very early in life so we can have a very long-term outlook towards maintaining optimal health and wellness. Another part of my practice is doing cardiac CT scans, which include both coronary calcium scores as well as CT angiography in at-risk patients. The calcium score is great for asymptomatic patients that want to figure out if they have plaque in their arteries and might be candidates for more aggressive preventative therapy. And the CT angiogram is a great study for patients with symptoms of chest pain, for example, and want to figure out if they've got blockages in their arteries or if they have plaque that we might need to do something about in terms of risk factor management. So really, I try to meld my preventative care with images of the heart to try to figure out which patients need aggressive therapy, which patients maybe need less aggressive therapy and more of an emphasis on a preventative lifestyle approach to their disease. So here at the Ciccaroni Center for the Prevention of Heart Disease, we have probably the most world-renowned center of preventive cardiology. We have a group of clinicians who are really interested in preventing the disease and thinking about lifestyle and risk factors in a way that most other practices don't do. So here at the Ciccaroni Center, I'd like to think we're the innovation of where precision medicine and preventative care come together. And that's what we do here at the Ciccaroni Center.